Now I am one of those YouTubers who received Creality K1. I have heard a lot of things about this printer because there are tons of great reviews in YouTube already. So I was thinking what I'm going to do with this printer. Should I compare this to Bamboo Lab? I don't know, it's done thousands of times already. I had actually a bit different idea. I'm going to do something that I'm doing anyway all the time in this channel. I'm going to print mechanical models, but not just some mechanical models. I'm going to challenge the printer and myself to print some print and place models. If you don't know what print and place mean, I can explain really quickly. Usually you slice your model, print it and you have your model. Sometimes multiple models and then you can assemble them into one device. In other hand, print and place models are also mechanically working devices, but everything is already in place. So when you finish 3D printing, you have working device in your hands without any assembly whatsoever. This makes this type of models really challenging to design and print. Every clearance has to be perfect, any string or blob or warping can ruin it completely. So this is how I challenged the Reality Gay one in this video. This printer is brand new and I haven't used it yet. So before we are going to print print and place models, we have to print 60 minute Benji boat. This is absolutely required to be your first print, because it shows the new reality with what you are working with. Looking how fast the printer is moving is absolutely mental. And the Benji truly was ready after 16 minutes. There is not some huge investigation needed to say this is just flawless. I don't see anything to cry about. Which means this test is passed successfully. Of course this was the easiest thing in this video. Now the real challenge starts. The first print in place model I choose is this collapsible katana. This model is not really difficult to print, that's why I start with this. In this video every model is more difficult to print than the previous one. Oh and by the way I accidentally printed the model on the raft. This is not a stupid thing to do with this type of model, but for the test of the printer the first layer also should be included. Next models I will not print on the raft. But the sword is definitely working. I have never printed something like this and it was actually pretty fun to play with. Also the model itself looks really nice and I don't see anything to complain about. So this passed the test without any problems. Next model, well actually next two models are designed by Sunshine. He's engineer and youtuber, he does things a bit differently. I'm a big fan. Sadly he uploads twice per year. Anyway the next model is motor model key holder and the piston should move if you turn the crankshaft. So let's find out will it work. Well not really because the crankshaft came loose at the middle. I reprinted the model and I had exactly the same problem. So last time in this video I used raft and this time it succeeded and the model works pretty nicely. Like I told before the next model is from the same creator and this is a 3D printed box. This doesn't sound really impressive, printing box with the lead is probably the most pointless thing you can ever print. But how this box works is pretty impressive. There are two gears, the smaller one is connected to the lead and the bigger one stores the potential energy because it has a spring in the middle. Then there is a small button release mechanism. Box with the popping lead is absolutely nothing special, but this one is 100% 3D printed and there is no assembly required whatsoever. Also the print itself turned out really nice, 10 out of 10. The mechanism works flawlessly and everything else is also perfect. Nice job Sunshine and K1. Moving on from this box to another box, Irish box to be exact. One of the most popular things to 3D print a couple of years ago. I printed one of my own before, but not print and place version. After 30 minutes the model is nicely ready, but it's not moving at all. Before we can use it, we have to break those small spots loose. After I finish this simple task, the Irish box is working perfectly. I sound like a broken record, but everything I have printed so far works flawlessly. I started actually worrying that video might be too boring because there is no failures. But K1 is performing so well I have nothing to do about this. And I'm not complaining at all. Moving on to something that can be actually useful. Pairings. I have printed pairings by myself before but not print and place pairings. I downloaded some models and started printing. By the way here are two different models with three different clearances. From the left I put the bearings with the bigger clearances. Which means it's easier to print because the gaps between the individual details are larger. The last one came loose from the build plate and it's obviously failed because of this reason. But the rest of them are done nicely. So the most important thing, will they actually work? I'm not going to show every single one because there is just no point to do it. The ones with the smallest clearances perform the best. First of all, they spin like they should and second, they are not so sloppy as the rest of them. They are so sloppy because the extra clearances made the gap so big that they are absolutely unusable. But some printers that are not so accurate need those, otherwise they would not spin at all. This was actually a good test because it shows how accurate the printer actually is. 
But now we are going to bring the coolest things in this video. Those are snake scissors. It doesn't sound cool at all, but yo, wait for it. After the print was ready, I removed the models from the wheel plate and right away they worked so freaking well. They work so well, it feels like they are pairing or something, but there is not. Just a print in place model, plastic moves against the plastic. I fell in love with those and I had to print more of them. One even changed the angle. I literally played around with them about 30 minutes and I just cannot believe how cool those things are. Are they useful? Well, I don't know about this, but I highly recommend to print this if you wanna print something fun. After playing around with those snake scissors, I decided to print also the Predator Pillars. This model was popular like 3 years ago, but still it's really nice model. And it fits next to the snake scissors really well. Printing this model with K1 took me around 1 and half hour, and then the model was ready. It also turned out excellent. For the last model in this video I chose Scorpion model with moving legs and, and something like this. It has a bit more small details than the rest of the models and everything seems to be well done. Legs and tail are moving, the rest of the details are nicely there. Usually I don't print this type of models at all, so I'm not going to judge this model, but in my eyes it looks really good and I'm, I'm satisfied with it. Speaking about the printer itself, in this video I use Creality K1, which is a smaller version. They also have K1 Max. This is a bit bigger and also have some extra features like camera and AI printing failure detection. You saw me in this video using also the camera, but here is the thing, I bought this by myself, it's not coming with the printer. It's coming with the Max, but not with the regular K1. Now when I'm editing this video, I have used this printer a bit already and I can share my honest opinion what to think about it. Let's start with the negative things. This printer is loud. Of course, most of the noise is coming from the fans. I do understand that the print cooling has to be good for fast printing, but some other companies have done a bit better job with this problem. The second thing, this is actually not a huge problem. The prints didn't stick on the bull print really well and the game lose meat print. You also saw this couple of times in this video. But it's not a big problem because glue sticks fix this completely. With the glue stick everything sticks flawlessly. Now a bit of the positive things. I name few because there is just lot to like about this printer. The print speed, quality and accuracy is just excellent with this printer. Which means this is perfect hobby machine or serious workhorse for a 3D printing farm. The slicer is also comfortable to use. Also you can monitor the print live in the slicer. And the price point. You can get this printer around $500. This is absolutely insane. The bigger version, K1 Max, cost a bit more but still it's in the affordable price range. This is so good that Creality made an excellent printer and at the same time people can actually pull it. I am comfortable to say this is the best value printer you can pull right now. It doesn't matter are you beginner or professional, if you are looking for a 3D printer, this is the printer you should pull next. I know I'm going to use this printer a lot in my upcoming videos. Well actually I'm already doing so. Big thanks to Creality for sending me their amazing printer. And big thanks to you all for watching this video. See you guys really soon in my next project video. Bye.